Hey, buddy. Good boy. Okay, come on. Let's go find her. Let's go find her, buddy. Yeah. Okay, go find her. Go find her. Go on, go find her. Takamo, go find her. Go on, go find her. Where is she, buddy? You find her. It was good, thanks. But I've been wondering about that walk. Why? Well, you know we walk around the triangular block. You know it has three sides. It's triangular. Yeah, so? So anyway, I was thinking, my Fitbit tells me that one side is 200 centi centimeters paces, one side's 300 paces, and one side's 400 paces. So I was thinking if I used the law of cosines, I could figure out the angle of each an uh, angle. That's interesting that you realize that each one is a dividend of a hundred. It is interesting and convenient. Yeah, but why did I marry such a geek? You just got lucky. I'm going to go figure it out. Come on, Momo. Let's figure it out. All right. So, let's see. Oh, conveniently, here's a sketch. So one side is 200 paces, one side is 300 paces, and the other side is 400 paces. If I use the law of cosines, I can see that c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. The letters don't really matter except for this angle has to be opposite from this side. And as we've already stated, it's incredibly lucky that this came out as 200, 300, and 400. So I can do a scale drawing and use 2, 3, and 4 instead of these larger numbers. I'll plug it into my formula. I've got everything but the C, so I can do a little bit of algebra and slowly, slowly, slowly can find out that the cosine of C is actually equal to negative 1 fourth. Taking the inverse cosine of both sides, I find out that the angle C measures 100. Now this makes sense because the largest angle should be opposite the largest side, and 104 is obviously the largest angle because it's greater than 90, and 400 is obviously the largest side. So to find the angles of the others, it's easier to use law of sines. I could use law of cosines, but law of sines is easier. So once again, I have three of my four values. I can plug into my formula, and as I work through it, can find out that that missing angle B is actually just 47 degrees. And finally, since we know the triangle, uh, triangle is 180, we can add those up and subtract to find out the remaining angle is 29 degrees. All right, so you've obviously understand all of this from my very excellent explanation. Let's see if you can do one on your own. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.